I said Ollie Watkins. Ollie uh, Watkins. Is he's Ollie right. Watkins and the four. Ollie Watkins is. Oh, yes, he can. What a lovely, lovely. Ollie Watkins, you've probably heard of him. With the sudden rise of Unai Emery's Aston Villa in the Premier League, there has been one major star that has outshone the rest of the team, and that is Ollie Watkins. With the highest goals plus assist tally of any player in the Premier League so far this season, the brilliance of Ollie Watkins is truly underappreciated. And he's starting to remind me of one player specifically from around 2016. And you might know him, that of Robert Lewandowski. But to truly compare them, let's go back to how Ollie Watkins worked his way up to the Premier League. So I'll make this quick. Ollie Watkins really began his footballing career with Exeter City, a League 2 side at the time. Playing for their academy since age 10, he quickly rose through their youth ranks up until his U18 season, where he would score 30 goals in the 2013-14 season, which got him his first professional contract with the Exeter City first team. It wasn't long before he made his debut in League 2 in the last match of the season against Hartlepool United. But since he was 17 years old and totally inexperienced, Exeter City sent him out on loan to Weston Super Mare in the 6th division of English football, where he ended up getting valuable first team experience and would actually score 10 goals through the 2014-15 season. He returned back to Exeter City for the next two years where he would score 21 goals and 14 assists over 65 appearances. But some of his performances have not been talked about enough. Like when he scored this hat-trick against Newport County, or his brace over Mansfield Town to win 2-0. At ages 19 and 20, he was doing pretty good. And Brentford FC would end up forking out around £2 million to sign the young Ollie Watkins. And his first two seasons for the Bees were somewhat of subpar, him only scoring 20 goals over 86 appearances. But in the 2019 20 season, Ollie Watkins was unstoppable in the championship. Not only did he take his team all the way to the championship playoff final that year, but he would go on to score a total of 26 goals and 4 assists in the league that season, ending as the league's second top scorer, right behind Mitrovic by one goal, which was super impressive. I mean, just looking at his performances against Swansea, Bristol City, Barnsley FC, where he would score this hat-trick to help Brentford win 3-1, he quickly became one of England's hottest properties, and all sorts of clubs were close to signing him. But ultimately, Aston Villa won his signature, and they would sign Ollie Watkins for a total three of 33 million euros, which was a club record at the time. That was a lot. How does that compare to Lewandowski's rise? There's quite a bit to cover, so buckle up. Here we go, here we go! Lewandowski's career really picked up when he signed for Lech Poznan in the first tier of Polish football for around 1.7 Polish zloty, which back in 2008 was around 263,000 US dollars. That was quite a bargain price. His debut was something special, making a substitute appearance in the UEFA Cup qualifiers. He would score the only goal against Kazar Lekaran from Azerbaijan, and his league debut was just as incredible, where he would score this goal that was just... <laughs> Sensational. And by the end of his first professional season, he had only scored just 20 goals in all appearances. That's insane. In the very next season, he would put up almost the same number of goals, scoring 21 in less appearances, which is insane. And hence, he became the number one star boy throughout Europe, and eventually Dortmund signed him for 4.5 million, just like when Watkins signed for Brentford. His first season was pretty lackluster in the Bundesliga, only scoring 9 goals in 43 games, which for the most part was a letdown, but he was already an established first team member at that time, and the talent he displayed set off all the signals that he would be a future great. The next three seasons are pretty important, so I'll summarize them quick. Just in the 2011-12 season, Robert Lewandowski started cooking. He had scored 22 goals and was the third top scorer in the league that season, and he helped Dortmund win the League Cup, being the top scorer in that tournament too. Overall, he was a star of that team that year. The next season, however, he only got better. He started the season not so good, only scoring a handful of goals, but when he got around that mid-season mark, he broke Dorman's longest scoring streak record with 12 consecutive games, which should tell you enough about him. By the end of the season, he had accumulated 36 goals and 13 assists in all competitions, which was insane. His last season at Dortmund was just as much of a success, with him winning the Bundesliga Top Scorer Award and the German Cup, scoring 28 goals in all competitions, which led the biggest team in the Bundesliga, Bayern Munich, to snatch him up for a fee of 45 million euros. Now that we've covered how both of these players have rose to prominence in their respective leagues, let's look at how Ollie Watkins became one of the best goal scorers in 2024. Watkins' first season with Villa was, for the most part, pretty exceptional. His debut was quite exciting, scoring a match winner in a cup match versus Burton Albion, but he wouldn't score his first goal until Villa played Liverpool, where they infamously destroyed them 7-2 at Anfield, and Watkins, he scored a hat-trick. The 2020-21 season ended with Watkins scoring 16 goals and having 5 assists, which was pretty good considering there were a handful of critics saying he was not going to make it. And for the next two seasons, they look correct. You see, in the 21-22 and 22-23 seasons, Watkins didn't play that good, and there isn't much more to say about those two seasons. Watkins scored a combined 26 goals in 72 appearances, which is pretty terrible. But how did Lewandowski adjust in his first couple seasons at his new club? But before I go on, if you guys could do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, it would really help me out. Thank you. Anyways, in the 2014-15 season, Lewandowski's first with Bayern, the setup was a lot different compared to Dortmund, and he started to score a decent amount of his chances. 
He even scored this goal that won them the game against Dortmund, which put Bayern 4 points clear of the title and put Dortmund in the relegation zone. It wasn't just the league that Lewandowski had found success, as he had played a super important role in Bayern's Champions League campaign that season, in total scoring 6 goals in the campaign, which in the peak of the Messi and Ronaldo era was pretty notable. By the end of the campaign and in total, Robert Lewandowski had scored a total of 25 goals and 13 assists, and in the next year, 2015-16, Lewandowski would absolutely obliterate the Bundesliga. He started off the season well, but he would really start to go off when he broke a Bundesliga record of the fastest time to score 5 goals, which was like 9 minutes or something. Just check out the whole clip. And a few weeks later, he would break another record for the fastest hat trick in 4 minutes. Clearly, Lewandowski was just on a different level, and his form was the best in the world. Now I know. How could Ollie Watkins be anything similar to this beast? Well, let me explain how Ollie Watkins has been so successful this season. His 2023-24 campaign did not start off the greatest, only scoring 2 goals in his first 5 games, but it did take a while for his form to pick up. You see, Ollie Watkins has a very unique and select skill set, just like Lewandowski does. They both specialize in poaching and scoring goals, not so much passing and dribbling. And Ollie really showed this when he would score his first goal this season against Chelsea. And just look for yourself. Watkins with Cole will to beat. Makes the angle, shot blocked. Maybe again. Look, Bry, that one looks just like you. Ollie Watkins then got into an incredible run of form that is still lasting up until this day, where he's assisting and scoring in almost every game he's playing for Villa. Most importantly, he has scored 5 goals in his last 3 games, which is crazy. And in the Conference League, Ollie Watkins is also playing a super important role for Villa, as he scored 2 very important goals against AZ Alkmaar in the group stage. And so far this season, Ollie Watkins has a total of 21 goals and 10 assists in all competitions, which is great, but how is he similar to Lewandowski? Well, you might say that Watkins is nowhere near the level of Lewandowski back in 2016. And numbers wise, he isn't. But both strikers played an incredibly valuable role for their team. First off, they are both target men. Maybe Lewandowski was utilized as a poacher a little bit more than Watkins is, but the teams both rely on their finishing and goal scoring abilities heavily. And they both share a heavy work rate. They contribute defensively when needed and are willing to track back to support their team, which is not super common among elite strikers. Additionally, they are both extremely physical and move off the ball extremely well, as they are both really dangerous on a good through ball and can both score a header when it's hung up there. Obviously, this comes down to personal opinion, as everything in football does, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Is Ollie Watkins tall enough to score like Lewandowski did? If you have any suggestions, write those down below too, and I'll see you guys next week.